This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of integration by substitution. We already know the formula. The integral of x to the power of n dx equals x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So the entire derivative of x squared is x cubed over 3 plus c. How about this? The integral of x minus 3 squared, we have to expand x minus 3 squared. x minus 3 squared equals x minus 3 times x minus 3 equals expand x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then back to the original, the integral of x squared minus 6x plus 9 dx. Then the entire derivative of x squared is x cubed over 3 minus 6 times the entire derivative of x is x squared over 2 plus entire derivative of 9 is 9x. And don't forget the c. We can simplify x cubed over 3 minus 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 3x squared plus 9x plus c. But what if there is a power of 5? Of course, someone could expand again, but that's not very mathematical. So now, let's use u substitution. Let u equal x minus 3, then du dx equals 1, and we can rewrite it as du equals dx. Now let's replace all x with u. Back to the original. The integral of x minus 3 is u, so u to the power of 5, and dx equals du. See, this is easy. Then we can do u to the power of 6 over 6 plus c. But u was x minus 3. Then back to the original, x minus 3 to the power of 6 over 6 plus c. Shall we check if the integral is correct? d dx of x minus 3 to the power of 6 over 6 equals, using the power rule, 6 times x minus 3 to the power of 5, then using the chain rule, x minus 3 prime over, keep the constant, 6 equals, 6 is cancelled, then x minus 3 to the power of 5 times x minus 3 prime is 1, the final answer is x minus 3 to the power of 5. That means we did the integral well. It would have been nice if it was x. But why is it a complicated expression? That's why you think, what is an easy way to find u? From now on, let's find u while integrating. Even here, you think that it would be easy if it was just x to the power of 5, right? Let's put 3x minus 4 as u. So let u equals 3x minus 4, then du dx equals 3. We can rewrite as du equals 3 dx. From now on, I will write du equals 3 dx to make it easier to change u to x. There is only dx, so divide by 3 on each side. Then du over 3 equals dx. Then back to the original, the integral of 3x minus 4 is u, which is the power of 5, then dx equals du over 3. We can rewrite as 1 over 3, the integral of u to the power of 5 times du. Then equals 1 over 3, the entire derivative of u to the power of 5 is to the power of 6 over 6 plus c. We can simplify 
which is the power of 6 over 18 plus c, u was 3x minus 4, then back to the original, 3x minus 4 to the power of 6 over 18 plus c. Let u equal x cubed plus 4, then du equals 3x squared plus 4 prime is 0, then dx. I will check du dx equals 3x squared cross multiplication, then du equals 3x squared dx. See, this is the same. There is only x squared dx, then divide by 3 on each side, then du over 3 equals x squared dx. Now let's replace all x with u. The integral of x cubed plus 4 equals u, then u to the power of 4, x squared dx equals du over 3. Then we can rewrite as 1 over 3, the integral of u to the power of 4 du equals 1 over 3. Then use the power for integration, u to the power of 5 over 5 plus c, u to the power of 5 over 15 plus c. Then back to the original, u was x cubed plus 4 to the power of 5 over 15 plus c. In the previous problem, we didn't notice because u is a linear expression. Here, since u is a cubic expression, a quadratic expression of x is always required when u is differentiated. This part is u, and this part is u prime. Compare the degree of x here. What matters is the degree of the variable. Coefficients don't matter because we can create them. Let u equals 1 plus x to the power of 4, then du equals 4x cubed times dx. But there is only 2x cubed times dx, then divide by 2 on each side, du over 2 equals 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2x cubed dx. The integral of square root of this part is u, 2x cubed times dx equals du over 2. We can rewrite as 1 over 2, the integral of square root of u times du equals 1 over 2, the integral of make power form, which is the power of 1 over 2 du, equals 1 over 2 times the entire derivative of which is the power of 1 over 2, using the power rule for integration, which is the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c, equals 1 over 2 times e to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus c. 1 over 3 over 2 equals 1 divided by 3 over 2 equals 1 times upside down 2 over 3, which is 2 over 3. The reciprocal of a fraction is just it upside down. Then back to the original, 1 over 2 times this one. 1 over 3 over 2, just upside down, 2 over 3 times u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c, then cancelled, 1 over 3 times u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Then 1 over 3 times u was 1 plus x to the power of 4 to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Let u equals x squared plus 4x, then du equals 2x plus 4 times dx. There is only x plus 2 dx, then we can factor, take out 2, 
x plus 2 times dx. Then divide by 2 on each side. Then du over 2 equals x plus 2 dx. Now let's replace all x with u. The integral of x squared plus 4x is u to the power of 3 x plus 2 dx, which is du over 2. We can rewrite as 1 over 2, the integral of u to the power of 3 du equals 1 over 2. Using the power for integration, u to the power of 4 over 4 plus c, then u to the power of 4 over 8 plus c. The u was x squared plus 4x, x squared plus 4x to the power of 4 over 8 plus c. This is the last one. Let u equal 1 minus 3x squared. Then du equals minus 6x dx. There is only 2x dx. Then divide by minus 3 on each side, du over minus 3 equals minus 3 times 1 minus 3 times 2, then 2x dx. Now let's replace all x with u. The integral of square root of 1 minus 3x squared is u, 2x times dx is du over minus 3 equals, we can rewrite as 1 over minus 3, the integral of 1 over square root of u, du, equals minus 1 over 3, the integral of, make the power form, u to the power of minus 1 over 2 du, equals minus 1 over 3, use the power for integration, u to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c equals minus 1 over 3 times u to the power of 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 plus c equals minus 1 over 3. The reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 over 1 which is 2 times u to the power of 1 over 2 plus c minus 2 over 3 times u to the power of 1 over 2 plus c equals minus 2 over 3 square root of u plus c equals minus 2 over 3 times square root of u was 1 minus 3x squared plus c. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, Leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.